The S400 Triumph is a mobile surface-to-air missile system which is capable of engaging aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles or drones, cruise missiles and it has a terminal ballistic missile defense capability. This clearly means that it can engage missiles in their terminal phase meaning that their descent or re-entry phase. On the other hand, Brahmos is a medium range ramjet supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarine, ships, land or aircrafts. It claims that it has the capability of attacking surface targets by flying as low as 5 meters in altitude and the maximum altitude it can fly is around 15,000 meters. Talking about the S-400 missile system, according to earlier reports, there are inherent problems in acquiring maneuvering objects such as cruise missiles and fighter aircraft which are either flying low or are hugging the terrain and this limits the effective range of the missile system. Against such targets, its effective range may be as little as 20 to 35 kilometers or even less depending on the terrain. While, on the other hand, the high speed of Brahmo's missile likely gives it a better target penetration characteristic than lighter subsonic cruise missile such as the Tomahawk. Being twice as heavy and almost four times as fast as the Tomahawk, the Brahmo's missile has more than 32 times the on-cruise kinetic energy of a Tomahawk missile. For a situation, the S-400 missile system can be swarmed by massed incoming missiles. It can also be spoofed and its engagement capabilities can be disrupted to an extent by electronic attack. Also, the claimed 5 minutes deployment time for the S-400 is only valid for planes and not for the mountainous terrains or jungles where the radars would need to be raised higher than the surroundings in order to increase the field of view. The total time taken could be around 45 to 90 minutes. According to one of the ex-army personnels, the system cannot stop hypersonic missiles owing to speed and altitude limitations. It must be kept in mind that the Chinese hypersonic missile DFZF travels at Mach 10 that is 12,348 kilometers per hour. With the same regards, the Brahmos, who has a speed of around 2.8 Mach, it means that it cannot be intercepted by some existing missile defense systems and its precision makes it lethal to water targets. In addition to this, the Brahmos is equipped with stealth technology which has been designed to make it less visible to radar and other detection methods. It has an inertial navigation system for use against ship targets and an INS global positioning system for use against land targets. Terminal guidance is achieved through an active passive radar. It should be noted that ship radars can look to about a maximum of 22 kilometers, while just before that, Brahmos executes a dip and flies at 5 to 10 meters above the water body. The enemy gets around 20 to 24 seconds to react, but even electronic countermeasures don't work as Brahmos itself is equipped with anti-ECM measures. Brahmos is made of composite materials and gives a small RCS, almost a signature equivalent to a bird. The missile does not radiate and emissions. To a conclusion, S-400 missile system might prove to be good against a subsonic cruise missile, but in the latter part, Brahmos wins the race.